Hey guys, it's Cooters, and I'm going to go over a Glitchful Cascade starting build for 3.2.0 since a lot of people have been asking me, Cooters, is Glacial Cascade mine still viable in 3.2? And according to the patch notes that we went over, it doesn't look like Glacial Cascade or mines in general have been nerfed at all. I don't know if something's going to happen before um, Friday when BCR League is officially released, but as of now... It's, uh, it's still very, very strong. I'm going to show you guys how to do a very, very budget type of build uh, if you guys want to tempt this, um, this Glacial Cascade build. So this is Path of Building. If you guys don't know what it is, it's basically a, uh, a tool that you can use, software that someone has written and uh, allows us to kind of calculate damage very, very easily in Path of Exile. If you guys haven't gotten it yet, you should definitely um, download it. it. Just type up, type Path of Building in Google and you'll find it. So basically I'm picking a shadow uh, saboteur as my starting um, character as well as ascendancy. Saboteur just because it's very very easy to use with mines and I still think it's one of the best. Uh, it's a little bit more survivable but you'll notice that this build is not going to be very tanky so this is not going to be H or this is not going to be hardcore viable at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the physical damage nodes because we're focusing mainly here on physical conversion to, uh, to cold damage excuse me. So I'm going to get these uh, nodes right here. I want Will of the Blades and I want Things of the Viper because I'm actually focusing on not just mind damage, but also physical damage. So I'm going to get a uh, nullification just for the extra life. I have a Saboteur. Now, this is a, a part where it kind of gets a little tricky because when you're leveling, what I like to do is I actually like to find a way to go through Blood Drinker um, over here to get to Clever Construction because what this does is it makes it so your mines cannot be damaged for five seconds after they've been placed, which is really, really strong because what happens a lot of times as you're leveling up mines, if you don't have Clever Construction or you don't rush it, uh, you can still play it, but you're going to have to set your mines a lot farther away from the enemies because if you don't set them, if you set them right on top of the enemies, which normally you'll end up doing, uh, the enemy will just attack the mine and, and just destroy it. So it's always nice to to kind of rush this if you can. I usually go through, like I said, I usually go through Blood Drinker to get the life and, you know, get Clever Construction before getting all this stuff. But this is just going to be a final build. So I'm going to show you kind of more of the, kind of more of the more, um, more efficient way of building this. So you get Doom Caches because you want as much crit and crit multi as possible. Actually, you want to also get Alira uh, as your as your bandit just because the crit multi is so, so strong. I'm going to go up here towards Volatile Mines. I'm not going to get this nib though because I just want the damage. One additional remote mine is really good for additional mines just for damage. So we're going to definitely get this and just get, you know, a bunch of the damage stuff. You can actually get this too. Let's just get this for now. This is this does do some mine damage. So we'll pick that up. Uh, I'm going to go around this back end here. And the reason why is because um, we have the power charge, we have the jewel socket, and we have clever construction and higher explosives right here. I'm going to take these two away though actually and get these so you don't want these two these aren't that big of a deal because they're just area effect and the thing is the mine detonation area effect is not it is not a big deal um go back here and get blood drinker you want as much life as possible as you can tell this is going to be a fairly squished build but you can definitely make do uh with this so blast cascade is really good you want to get the you don't really need this one you just want to get the crit multi because you're going to have enough crit as it is later on i'm going to go across here towards this jewel socket as well as Sorry, instability with the uh, spell charge node. Uh, since you do have Blast Cascade, you're going to be 15% chance to gain a power charge when your mine is destroyed or detonated, um, targeting an enemy. And that's going to happen all the time because you're going to be setting down mines like crazy. So here's a little knife, life node here. Going to get Blast Radius and then going to go through Annihilation to get the spell crit. Back around to get Heart and Soul just to get more life survivability. Then I'd probably end up, um, from here you can really choose what you want to do. But I would go down here towards Quick Recov as well as this Jewel Socket. And you can see we're already level 77. If you want a little bit more survivability, you can go Mind Over Matter with Inspiration and po uh, pick up Deep Thoughts. Doing this is okay. The only problem is that mines cost a lot of mana. We'll keep it for now, but you'll notice that while you're playing this build, you're going to be using a ton of mana. We're talking about 100 plus mana per uh, per mine. So yes, this is going to end up eating through a ton of your life, so to speak, your effective HP. Uh, now over here, if you want to do a lot more damage, what you actually want to do is you actually want to come down here. This is this seems very inefficient, but the thing is, it's really the best thing you do at this point is actually come straight down here, get Heart Seeker. It is a lot of travel. It's one, two, three points of travel, four points rather. You do want to pick up the Jewel Socket while you're there and come down for Herbalism. Uh, now the thing is, if you want to skip using Long Winter Jewels, you can actually spend four points and get the Winter Spirit. Or actually one, two, three, four, five points to get the Winter Spirit. And if you get that, it will you won't have to use the long winter jewels. But we're gonna end up using the jewels here. So this is already level 96. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and back out some points here. I didn't realize we were we were already such a high level. I didn't know. I didn't think we were at that high level already. Um, but let's go ahead and actually we can just keep this right now. We have saboteur. We have uh, volatile mines. Okay, so this is a high level. Like I said, uh, you don't have to come down here if you don't want to use, uh, you know, spend all the extra points to, to get this stuff. But we are sitting at 137 ink life from tree and about 100 uh, ink, ink mana. Um, but yeah, if you want to respect any of these, these things, like you don't want actually to spend as much, you can actually go through here and you would lose some life, but you can take some life off here. Um, and that brings us to level 95. But just to show you the damage um, on this, to kind of give you an idea, if you end up... Uh, what this is what I would do actually is you want to put a you want to always have at least a diamond flask. You're probably going to end up having um, a health flask, a health pot, at least one or two health pots, a diamond flask, uh, possibly a quicksilver, and then maybe a mana pot if you are running if you're feeling like you have a lot of issues with mana. Um, let me go to the skills first just to show you what we have. So glacial cascade, I linked it up with remote mine minefield. That's just a given, just to get as many mines down as possible. Trap and mine damage is actually one of the best supports for for mines uh, as well as traps. And then Cog Effect does a lot of damage. You can trade this in and out for uh, Control Destruction or Ink AoE, depending on what you want for map uh, mapping. And then Ellie Focus is another one where it does a lot of damage, uh, but you won't be able to chill. But the thing is, you're doing so much damage, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you want to switch that out for something else, I would instead take out Ellie Focus and put in Control Destruction. Or you can even uh, put in like Hypothermia or something like that. Uh, but this is the most amount of damage. So we're going to set, you know, Glacial Cascade as our main skill. And you can see we only do 2,600 damage. This is per hit, though. So this is per mine. We do 26, uh, 2,600, sorry, 26,000 damage. Um, hatred is on, so, you know, without Hatred, we do about half that. Not really half that, but about, uh, I guess you'd say, 75%. Um, so let me see what we got here. So these are the items that I picked. So you want to put your flask on. You want the crit just because it does, you know, it helps a lot. And you do want to say that you use power charges uh, since that's one of the main parts of this build. So what I decided to pick for um, the weapons are the Princess Saber. It's a really, really cheap and easy starting item to get. It's a level 10 item. It is unique, but it's one of those things where it drops quite often because a lot of people are going to be getting sabers to drop and you know if it's a unique one it's going to be the princess saber that's really the only one and uh they're going to be all over the marketplace in the beginning it's might be you know a few c a couple c or so in the beginning but they usually drop down to like one out one jeweler's orb they're very very cheap later on uh they're obviously not the best weapon but they're very good for this build and the reason why is because uh you get the you can see i i put it around the middle but uh, this one is 28% physical damage is extra cold damage. And actually, I don't think that's the middle, but let's see here. Um, it is, it's not, yeah, it's, it's about the middle. It's 25, yeah, it's about the middle. So I put everything around the middle. So uh, as you see, once we put these on already, we're at 51,000 damage per hit. Now uh, for the bottom armor, I just picked Tabula Rasa so you can have your six link in there. Um, and then I went on to about, you know, a higher level, level 60s or so. And all I did was I just put really, really basic items. As you said, this is just fingerless silk gloves. Everything's kind of like, you know, 70 life, dual resist. Um, nothing nothing crazy. Boots. Uh, for the boots, I decided to go with the Cruel Lab Enchant, uh, which gives you 1% life and mana re uh, regen per second you hit recently. And this is just, you know, 3% movement speed. Um, the rings, I put in an Essence Worm. The reason why is because if you're running mind over matter, uh, you kind of want to not reserve any of your mana if you can possibly do that or not much mana So I picked up an essence uh, worm that might, might be like 5c or so in the beginning of the league uh, Or maybe a little bit more um, You don't have to run it, but it's good to have if you can put your hatred in there I also felt, uh, picked up a diamond ring here. All you put on there is life and cold damage You could put like resistances if you want to obviously and then I put a rustic sash on here Which gives you physical damage, which is great because you get Physical damage, that's like global physical. It, it will um, help add to the build slightly. It's not going to do a ton, but it'll do a little bit. And Amulet is just a spell damage, life, and resistances. So after all this stuff, like I said, very, 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 very minimal stuff. Very easy to get. You're about 58k. Now, the big damage that comes down the line after the Princess Sabers is actually these Long Winter Jewels. So what you want to do is you want to put... Um, I put two of them in here. I want to put these in here. What that's going to do is that's going to give you full Ellie conversion. So you're going to get 60% of physical damage um, converted to cold damage with Glacial Cascade. Um, 
by base on the item. And then if you put two long winters in, as long as you have, you know, um, 40 int in radius, you end up getting 20% uh, plus 20%. So that's 40 plus the 60. That's 100% of all your physical damage converted to cold damage. So that's a lot more damage. Um, and you also get the, the second, the additional burst. So this is a 67k. We're looking at 67k. And then what I did for the other two uh, sockets are pretty much something very similar, uh, very, very simple. It's just max life and crit multi. That's all it is. And they actually do about 2k per hit. Um, and, and do remember that do you remember that the average hit is kind of misleading? Like you might think, oh, it's only 71k. It's really not that much. But the thing is, every time you set a mine down, you're actually laying down three mines at least. So when you throw down three mines with minefield, that's 70 damage average per mine. So if you detonate three mines at once, that's about you know 210k. So that's quite a bit of damage, and it's quite a big big area too. So there's that. Um, the other thing too is if you guys don't, if you want to do a little bit more damage, but not run, you don't want to run two Prince of Sabers. The issue with this is that you can't run Whirling Blades. You will have to run something like Leap Slam. You can actually take these off and you can actually run the Cauterizer. It's a wood splitter. It's a two handed axe. It's a level 40 unique. It's also very, very cheap. And this one gives you 70% of physical damage extra fire. So you can tell this one gives you 75k. Uh, two Princess Sabers is, is, similar 71k it's not like a huge difference but it is an option um and then of course for the ascendancy what i normally do first is go bomb specialist that we can have two additional remote mines placed at a time can up to two additional remote mines placed at a time uh that just gives you you know ability to keep on stacking your mines as you place them on the ground and uh demolition specialist gives you the huge like aoe thing and you have a chance to place an additional mine when you lay mines um so that's really good and then after that, um, I would probably go Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac is really good for survivability because you get life regen per second e for each of your mines detonated recently up to 20%. And like I said, when you have minefield and you detonate three at a time, that's 3% life regen. Um, that's really crazy. I mean, that's really, really good. So that's obviously a good one. And it has 25% uh, mana reduction for your mines. So normally, like I said, you're going to have like 150 or so. You can see the mana cost is 150, which is crazy. This doesn't actually calculate in POB right now. I don't know why. I think this is a bug, but um, but uh, I, it should be around like 100 or so mana, I believe, with Pyromaniac. And then Explosive ex Experts gives you uh, Area of Effect, Area Damage, and uh, LA, um, LA, uh Penetration. So those are the best ones to get here for 8 points. And you can see now we're doing about 91,000 damage per hit. Uh, and this is like super budget, really easy to get. I mean, I don't think anything here is kind of out of line. You might see a lot of builds out there where, you know, people are saying, oh, you know, you just have to get this elder item or this super crazy unique item. This is a really, really cut and dry, super simple build, um, and it definitely works. Now, it is level 90, uh, 95, but if you wanted to take, I mean, the thing is, you take this whole branch out, obviously you'd lose quite a bit of uh, survivability, but you wouldn't really lose any damage. You're really going to hit lose like 2000 damage per hit. And that's like about nine points right here or, or more. Um, and then, you know, there's some stuff down here. Like, like I said before, if you want to remove this, this is quite a bit more. Uh, this is like around 8,000 per hit. But as you know, as you go up, print multi is really the most amount of damage as well as getting the extra physical damage or physical damage that has extra, you know, X damage. So physical is extra cold damage, physical is extra lightning, etc. Uh, which are normally found on shaper items and elder items. But in this case, you can definitely get them on the princess saber and the cauterizer. There's other things too that work with it, but these are the two best ones in my opinion. Um, and then also for the skills, like I said, you want to, you want to put the hate, you want to put hatred in your, uh, in your essence, worm if you can um uh, where is this uh so you want to put it in there so you don't reserve any mana obviously and then the other thing too you want to set up uh that i didn't really outline here is you want to put you want to get a spell totem in there and what you want to put in your spell totem is you want to put detonate mines this helps a lot on bosses this way you don't have to de detonate your mines you just sit there and just lay them as fast as you can and they'll go off as fast as you can so you want to use to put faster casting on that and then the other thing i like to put on is increased duration you don't have to do this but it's really good uh just in general to keep your minds up longer so you don't have to keep on you know re uh placing your your totem rather uh and the other thing too is you can either go fire golem or stone golem uh in this case i'm gonna go stone golem just because of the fact that it gives you some life gen. Now, you're probably not going to be able to use a high-level Stone Golem because you don't have a lot of strength. 
Um, so we'll put out like 15. That's usually what I have it around. So you get some, you know, extra life regen, but you also get quite a bit of life regen from your mines. So maybe you don't even need a stone golem anymore and you can go fire golem if you really want to. Uh, fire golem is, um, or flame golem, sorry, is, is, uh, is pretty good too. And it will give you like 2000 damage per hit. It's not a big deal. Uh, that's something to look into as well. And the last thing I would do if you're really, really running out of mana issues, which you will as a miner, uh, definitely look at Val, or not Val Pack, but Val Clarity. Uh, and just normal clarity as well, just for, you know, um, getting, you know, uh, more mana regen. You know, you get like a level 10 clarity or something like that. Um, I would definitely run Val Clarity though. What Val Clarity does is basically you get uh, at a high level, you get about 10 seconds of free casting. So really good for when you're in a tough position where you don't have any mana. Uh, you can even deal without running a mana pot. That's what I do sometimes on my minor build. Uh, but like I said, it's about 90, 90 K per hit. Um, you know, against, if you want to look at it against something like Shaper, obviously it's not going to do nearly as much damage. And this is not going to be like, you know, Shaper, somewhat Shaper viable, but you know, you're hitting for per mine, you know, you're hitting at uh, still 180,000. Per, per you know set of mine laid on the ground so that's still pretty good um in terms of killing guardian or not shaper but in terms of get, ca killing elder at like on you know on maps and stuff it's still actually a lot of damage you're going to be doing really well you'd be very surprised it, it doesn't sound very great because of the fact that if you haven't done mines the average hit seems like a very small amount however like i said because of the fact that you're laying so many mines down on, this, uh, on the ground and very very fast you have a very good mine laying speed you know you can even you know get extra mine, mine, mine laying speed if you need to uh that's what i ended up doing and there's another thing people say you know is is the uh, staff worth it you know running um running the staff uh what's it called the military rod um geez what is that tremor rod is tremor rod worth it um i think once you get enough damage it might be and it has really good mine laying speed it's great for mapping if you want to use it for mapping go ahead um but i would say if you want to go for damage stick to like the princess sabers stick to cauterizer and then you know focus on getting shaper items and elder amulets when you can or essence of hysteria will give you another you know uh on an opal ring that's amazing getting essence of hysteria gives you 10 percent of your physical damage and extra fire damage on an opal ring is insane but uh, that's, this is what I would start out with, guys. Um, like I said, does a lot of damage. Really, really, really strong. Like, uh, I don't know how else to, to describe it. And honestly, like, in terms of cost here, the Princess Saber is really cheap. Tavi the Rasa, you're gonna, you can farm that Blood Aqueducts or, you know, buy eventually 1015C. Not not that bad. And all these other items, like the Fingerless Salt Gloves and the Lab Enchant, they're all very low level. You know, very, very low level, level 50, like, stuff. So, um, I would say try it out. Like I said, the only drawback is it's very mana heavy and it's very, uh, it's pretty squishy. But once you kind of get into the style of playing mines, I think you guys might actually really like it. Let me know what you guys think of the the, uh, the build down below. Uh, obviously, there could be some other changes you can make to the tree. Obviously, you can make it a little more tanky, do a little less damage. But this is just something that, I, you know, I did really quick, uh, quick and dirty type of build. I think it's going to do pretty well. But like I said, if you guys uh, have any other ideas, let me know for sure that's pretty much it guys thanks for stopping by remember the like comment subscribe all that kind of cool stuff and do remember the do big do good and do you and i'll see you guys in the next video